Pathologist Dr. Tio Wan Lin here, back with another installment of Retinol Alternatives for Sensitive Skin. Did you know that there is a form of topical Botox? Not exactly botulinum toxin, acetylhexapeptide is an ingredient that comes close. So essentially, how it works is that it blocks the release of acetylcholine. This means it also reduces the activity of the muscles that move when we make facial expressions. By the way, as a cosmeceutical, acetylhexapeptide has a remarkable safety profile. Despite the fact that it hasn't exactly been shown to penetrate very deeply into skin, studies have actually shown that acetylhexapeptide incorporated into cosmeceuticals have been able to reduce the appearance of wrinkles by up to 40% after one month of treatment. Oligopeptides are another type of peptide that helps us make the case for using peptide serums as retinol alternatives. If you've ever experienced irritation when using a retinol containing eye cream, you're not alone. In fact, retinol is known to cause sensitivity, especially when applied around the mucosal area such as the eyes and the mouth. This is because the skin over the mucosal areas is thinner and hence more prone to skin barrier damage. Some people may also develop sensitization over a long period of time. Peptides, on the other hand, are actually naturally occurring in our skin. I like to call them nature's very own anti-wrinkle agent. My favorite part about peptide serums is that they act holistically. You see, apart from being retinol alternatives that have anti-wrinkle effects, peptides also have an additional function, which is they help to stabilize the skin microbiome. This is because they also function as small, naturally occurring molecules known as antimicrobial peptides that helps to stabilize the germs on skin. 